Hi there. So, um, Yvonne here, and I just wanted to pop in and do a quick video on what am I doing right? So, I don't know if you do a weekly review, but I do a weekly, weekly review, okay? And the things I like to look at are how I'm spending my time, my social media content, my website content, my financial review, my self-care, and so on and so forth okay so then what I like to do in each section is um, I fit in an awful lot into my week between my clients and working in my business and working on my business so it's really important that I use my time effectively to fit everything in so by reviewing it um, and reviewing how I spend my time each week it allows me to identify time that was spent well and acknowledge the wins that I achieved because of this or time that was spent not so well <laughs> uh, which is just important because it's very important to see to identify the tasks maybe that I might be giving more time to that than necessary or I might have wasted time or um, I just might have allocated too much time to something that didn't need that amount of time so by looking back over the, how I spent my time it allows me to review my time for next week and maybe change things that I spend my time on okay so um, it's really good to look back over your time and see how you spent it another thing I like to do is look at my social media content so we all know the power of social media uh, particularly if you're in business uh, but we also know the bus the work that goes into being present on social media it takes an unmerciful amount of time um, it is it takes a big amount of time so it's really important that you plan your content and you plan it with um, knowing what what you want to achieve out of it okay so always ask yourself if I'm posting a post today what do I want to achieve as a result of posting this content what am I looking for am I looking for information about my followers or am I uh, do I want to send them to my website do I what is the call to action that I want to put at the end of it what do I want to achieve as a result of posting okay um, and then I like to review how that content was received by my followers so that I know what my followers like and will engage with for any future posts I don't want them falling asleep <laughs> okay so then after I've done that I like to uh, look at my website content okay so whether you manage your website like I do or not, it's really important to keep your web your content up to date and fresh. Um, there's nothing worse than landing on a website and feeling like there's nobody home and feeling like the lights are off and it's just a case of, oh, this website is here just in case somebody decides to go and visit the website. That's terrible. Um, if, if, if a potential client goes to the trouble of clicking on your link, then the least you can do is give them a reason to stay. So give them plenty of reasons to stay. Um, make sure the content is fresh and bright and that all the uh, images you have are a representation of you and your business um, and that they're consistent um, and that they're welcoming and that they will want to stay rather than disappear, okay? So think about where you want them to go on your website and guide them there. Okay, so whether it is a navigation from a social media post, a navigation from a newsletter, um, think about where you want them to go and why. Why do you want them to end up there? What is the reason behind it? Okay, um, put yourself in their shoes. This is something I do all the time. I put myself in my customer's shoes. Okay, and then I like to do a financial review. So. How are, how are your finances this week? Did you survive the week? <laughs> Did you have a royal flush for a week? Or will it be bread and water for the week? It's really important to know how your business is performing financially so that you can set yourself goals of where you need to go for next week. Uh, building a business takes time. So don't be hard on yourself. Uh, if you're just uh, keeping your head above water, that's okay. There are so many people that are in the same boat. Um, consistency, determination, and motivation will pay off but it's important to know what motivates you in your business so that you keep your motivation up okay we're not all motivated by the same things but knowing what motivates you makes a massive difference um, on how you approach your business 
Okay, some people are motivated by money, some by job satisfaction, some love hitting targets, others love being creative. Whatever it is that motivates you, let that be the fuel that starts you off each day. And then just watch how your business grows. Self-care. Self-care is massive when you have your own business. Okay, what about me? How am I doing this week? Very important to check in with yourself. This is something we forget to ask ourselves um, as business owners, but it's a key element in running a business. We wear lots of hats every day. Uh, so maybe it's time to switch off and take a rest. Sometimes to take a rest can be the best thing you can do for your business, okay? So by doing weekly review, you get an opportunity to check in with your business and take care of the things that need to be done. Now you need to do the same for you. Take time to do something that distracts you from thinking about your business. Go and have some fun. <laughs> uh, when you have your own business, it's very difficult to switch off and some people feel guilty for doing this. Trust me, you are far more beneficial to your business if you rest, if you, you are far more beneficial to your business if you get some rest, okay? And take time out to do the things that you enjoy. When you come back into your business over the, the, maybe tomorrow or the next day or after the weekend, you will be completely refreshed and full of enthusiasm. The last thing you want to do is burn out. It really isn't worth it. So there's just a couple of things I do when I review my week. They keep me on track um, and I really enjoy it because it helps me to see how much I've actually got done in the week. And then you go away feeling with a, uh, you have a massive sense of achievement. And that's my motivator. That's what motivates me. I love the sense of getting stuff done and feeling like I've done a really good job, that I've helped and supported a lot of people during the week. Um, and that's what keeps my uh, clocks ticking. OK, so if you haven't done a review before and it's something you'd like to do, why not pop me a message and um, I can I'll post in a link that uh, you can contact me on and we can get you started. It's so beneficial to your business and you will be so glad you introduced it. OK, so that's my tip for the end of the week. Bye for now.